to talk about all the latest concerning United. So stay tuned. We have some news concerning Michael Rashford and his possible exit for Manchester United. Matthias Delete also Joshua Zexi and some few other things to talk about. So don't forget to stay tuned for everything. Like the video, leave a comment and tell me what you think about everything discussed about in today's video. And don't forget, it's not my opinion. I'm bringing you the news. So choose to believe it or not. Some of them are false, some are true, some make sense, some don't, but it is the news. I'm bringing it to you, so tell me what you think about every news I'm going to discuss about in today's video. And starting with Michael Stratford, according to the Manchester Evening News, not according to me, according to the Manchester Evening News, it says, Man United have ruled out the possibility of allowing Michael Stratford to leave amid a possible adjustment to the player's representation. It is understood that Rashford's brother has held discussions with an agency to potentially assist in managing the United forward. My United are also conscious that potentially lucrative sales of academic players would, re would represent a pure profit under the Premier League's profit and sus sustainability rules. PSG are confirmed admirers of Rashford, rated at around £80 million, and they remain in the market for a forward to replace Kylian Mbappe. And he also says United sources insist that their preference would be to keep Rashford and help him regain the form of his 30 goal season in 2023-2022. However, the club have not dismissed the possibility of allowing Rashford to leave. Tell me in the comment section, would you sell or would you keep Marcus Rashford? But this is what this was from the Manchester Evening News. First things first, I don't think Rashford is going to go anywhere. I don't see anybody who is even going to buy him. I don't see anybody going to pay that amount of money to buy him. I feel like. Youth player, he has been here for all his life, Mark Bon and Bread. I don't see any reason why we would sell him. Instead, we would, have, we would work with him to regain his form. Just like the article says, United will choose to work with Michael Stratford to regain his form that he was on when Eltana uh, came in the first place. So Michael Stratford, um, reports, coming out that, reports coming out that he's going to go is false. There were also reports that um, he has some issues with Eltana that they they're not in good terms. I doubt that. In the FA Cup final, Rashford was starts, started in the first team and that was done by Eric Hag. Hag started in that final even when he doesn't really have to start him. He benched Ganacho and started Rashford. So would the manager that starts in the FA Cup final even when you are shit have any issues with you? So do I think my coach Rashford is going to be sold? No. Do I think he's going to have a good season next season? Yes. He has been on some media break since the end of the season and with the boss around the team, there's no way Ten Hag is going to have a bad season. And since we're going to have a good season next season, almost guaranteed, um, Marcus Rashford is going to have a good season. Marcus Rashford has never had back-to-back -back bad seasons before. He's always one season good, one season bad, one season good, one season bad. So there's no reason why he wouldn't have a fantastic season next season. So stay tuned for that. Marcus Rashford is not going anywhere. I don't think that's going to happen. Let's just hope that he can regain his form. If he has another bad, if he has another bad season next season, then summer of 2025 definitely we'll be looking at selling him but for now we gave him 300k to 250k per week signed a new five-day contract last year Michael Rashford is going nowhere he's going nowhere he's here to stay we have to manage him cope him cope with him and hope that with the new structure around the club he can do well and he can prosper because he's not going nowhere we have to stick to him stick by him he's our youth player um, even if we're going to sell him, even if selling him is going to give us lots of money, that's not going to happen. PSG are the only rumored interest club, interested club in him. Who else? Nobody else. So where is he going to? Who's going to pay 80 million pounds for him? Nobody. So Rashford is going to stay. But let's see how he performs next season. And this was some breaking news from Fabrizio Romano earlier today concerning Delete. He says Delete has given green light to Man United move after direct contact with his camp. Personal terms are not an issue as his agent Inata is only negotiating with Man United as priority for the player. It's up to United and Bayern in talks over deal structure. So it was also reported by another source that the will be willing to take a pay cut to join United. Dutchman earns around 50 million euros per year at Bayern. United would like to offer him below 12 million euros. Uh, according to the report, the will be willing to take a pay cut. To join United, he's on around 250 uh, a euro per week. That's too much, and we can't offer him that. So, if he's willing to come down to 200, that makes perfect sense. But according to the reports, the lead deal is still progressing. We went from um, Jusa Zexi, Ugate, even Todibo, Brightway being 
like the first signing we could do to now it's looking like the leads might be the first signing for united we might probably get a year we go very very soon just for my united and bayern to agree for a fee and that fee is, in, is going to be structured fee bayern wants 50 million euro united want to pay around 40 million euro at first and then they can structure the deal uh, moving forward but it says um, United United opening offer was a package of around 40 million euro. Bayern initially wanted more than 50 million euro, but they are now willing to let him go for 50 million euro, including add zone and a potential sell on clause. So let's see what they negotiate. We'll be here to give you all the updates concerning the leads, but that deal is progressing and anything could happen any moment from now. The next thing is could be a year we go because personal terms are not an issue that's been agreed. Now it's club and club. So after club and club is agreed, it's going to be a year we go basically. And from the leads, let's talk about um, Joshua Zexi because according to Plenty Gold, Sky Sports journalist, a German journalist, he says Eric Hag and the management of Joshua Zexi held a personal meeting in recent days, and also there have been direct chats with Ten Hag and the striker. And United, United are willing to trigger the 40 million euro release clause and is a top target at Old Trafford, but AC Milan are still in the race. No final decision and from Zexi yet as he's focused on the Euros. Remember, Zexi is Dutch, Gilit is Dutch, both of them are in the Euro squad. But it seems that the deal for Zexi might be done after the Euros. But I think Netherlands plays today, so he might be out of the Euros today, maybe. We don't know. But he's going to make a decision after the Euros. But don't forget that this deal is basically simple. Personal things, as is probably already agreed, is a release clause and it's cheap. 40 million euros, something you can easily activate. AC Milan are in the race, but we are obviously the favorite to sign Zexi. So the only thing holding this deal is the euros, and then um, agreeing, officially agreeing personal terms with the player, and then officially making that bid for the release clause and getting everything sealed and done. So Zexi is a very, very simple deal to get done. It's almost in the same space with the leads. Once, already, once we agree a few with Bayern, it's going to be simple. Very very simple for delete. Then for Zexi the same thing. Once you pay, once you once you um, pay the release clause, it's basically hours already. So those deals are going to progress very 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 fast. So stay tuned because Zexi is basically ninety percent a United player already. Ninety percent. Let's see what happens in the coming days and in the coming weeks. And one last thing to talk about: the United structure is officially complete. As we go from Jim Ratcliffe, Jean Claude Blanc. Omar Berada, CEO, Dan Ashworth, Director of Football, Christopher Vevel, Head of Recruitment, who came in yesterday on a temporary basis, but is a, um, is a um, Head of Recruitment from, with a lot of experience from Chelsea, RB Leipzig, RB Salzburg. Very, very interesting uh, man. We'll see what he can do for us in the summer transfer window because he was brought in to stay um, for a temporary basis um, to help us in this summer transfer window, and he will have some targets that he would have in mind. He was the one involved in, in signings like um, um, Ellen Haaland, Pat Sindaka, and some other signings from Leipzig and also RB Salzburg. But he was at Chelsea for a very short period, but he was sacked. But whatever happens at Chelsea, no one really cares. But he's a very, very good um, head of recruitment for us. We also have Jason Wilcox, technical director, and then Eric Ten Hag. They say too much cook spoils the broth, but um, these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people that are going to have input in terms of player coming in and player going out. Too many, too many of them, but Sajim Ratcliffe, J. Claude Brown, I didn't even mention David Bresford. That's eight people that are going to be involved in players coming in and players coming out, that everything has to go around them. Too many people, but let's see what happens. But the Ineos team is complete. The Ineos team is complete. Let's see how this progresses. In the coming weeks, we can see, we will see what kind of players we sign and what kind of players we sell. That's going to this first season is a very very huge season for the Ineos group because they have to make a statement of intent for that team. You have kept in hand, you are giving him two new managers. Then what next? Selling the dead wood and bringing in good players that will do well. But of course, not all players is going to do very well for us. But at least seventy percent or sixty percent of these players have to perform. It's not easy to get every transfers right. But at least from now on, pay less money for players. Pay less wages to these players so that if they don't work out well, we can sell them easily. That's the main thing. Um, and yeah, scouts players will follow your scouts reports 
um, look at everything from the player attitude, mentality, um, lifestyle, and everything should be in good considerations for us so that we can perform well. So that's all coming out today. Don't forget to see that Hard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. I will see you on the next one. Let's see what can happen with Ineos Group at the club. You no, know, let's give them let's give, let's give them the benefit benefit of the doubt and see how they perform in this summer transfer window.